Hello everyone, Prower here, playing Alan Wake Blind for the PC. I heard this game was a pretty good story driven game and so I thought it would be a great game to do as a debut let's play for my channel. My graphics options, as per PC Master Race standards, are of course all maxed out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start off. And I'm going to go ahead and do this on easy mode, only because I don't want to ha have a uh, painful editing time. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode 1, Nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. All right, so it looks like we're in some sort of nightmare here. Not really a actual physical world. And we're playing as Alan Wake, a writer. Interesting. And we have to get to this lighthouse, I think he was talking about. We'll see. Where do I go? Ah, uh, there it is. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. Hiking trail. Alan Wake. The sudden stop. What? You don't okay. Even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them with your fingerheads to the drama? You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. You joke. It would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, because I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Wow. So apparently this guy is having kind of a nightmare that is having him attack himself as a writer. Pretty interesting. Damn. Hope this isn't filled with a lot of writer's puns or something. Hey, you don't push me. I'm trying to dodge your attack as per tutorial standards. Successful dodges, cinematic moment. Character from the story I've been working on. How did 
does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Did his own creation turn into a tornado like that? I don't think so. Well, let's just try and get to this lighthouse, I guess. This, way, this, way. this bridge looks like it's not going to be a good idea. Who are you? does not look good and there's die, whoa die, 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 die. can I get out here what am I supposed to do Looks like it's the only door. What's going on? Here we go. Follow the light. You are hurt. Whoa. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. So apparently the light heals us. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. <laughs> my life. protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Does this game have a crosshair, maybe? Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Perhaps because it has light? You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill
This is it, wait! I can get used to this. Now we're at a checkpoint. Let's open this flare gun. All right. I don't think that's how flares are supposed to work, but I'll take it. was close. I gotta head for this light. I can keep this up forever. Uh, I don't think I want to mess with that. Looks like I get tired from sprinting too much. Alright. We're at the lighthouse. We can do it. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Bright Falls. So, I'm going to go ahead and say this is still a dream and that he's woken up within a dream. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. So that seems to happen a lot. A title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? I suppose. How do I pose? I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. Pat Maine. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. 
I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. I, you can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Seems like a nice guy. All right. Now what? Let's go back. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. Classic Barry. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Okay. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Oh. It's nice. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Ah, uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Well, celebrity just has just to be famous. When you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. I've never been much of a fan of coffee. But I can see the appeal. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Not much of a conversation if I don't reply. Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. Do we'll me be a sure favor, to keep Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. You call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! Well, I kind of liked it better when people were kind of fangasming at me. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut. Shut your mouth, you demented has-been. If I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. These guys are kind of weird. Just saying. Two number six in the <laughs> jukebox. Children of the Elder God. Now there's a song for you. It does that. Get stuck. Yeah, 
You need to give it a good solid whack. Okay. Let's see who this guy is. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. Mm. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Let's go into the darkness. What? Am I just bumping into this? <laughs> That's hilarious. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Oh. oh, couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Okay. Interesting person. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. All right, so I'll leave us with this part. Uh, next time, we'll go ahead and leave the diner and see what's going on with this cabin we're supposed to be going to. Hope you enjoyed, and let me know how I can improve, and I'll catch you guys next time.